Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Today I wanted to talk to you about Hitman 2 and an issue that hasn't really been covered that much by a lot of other channels. I haven't really seen anyone talking about this. And that is the low GPU usage in this game, which has been plaguing it since it came out in November of 2018. And now with a patch bringing in DirectX 12, which just came out yesterday, um, something that a lot of gamers have been waiting for, because if you go look over on the Steam forums, there are countless users complaining about low GPU usage, no matter what settings they use, and people with good hardware, with things like 8700Ks and RTX 2080s, seeing like 30 to 40% GPU usage, which is just not what you should be seeing in a well-optimized title. If you're running VSync off, you should ideally be seeing your GPU getting maxed out at 99% usage. And then if you have VSync on and you're hitting your frame rate cap, then the GPU usage would level off there for whatever amount that it needed to, to maintain that frame rate. Um, but overall, the GPU usage in this game is extremely low, so many people have been waiting for DirectX 12 to come out, hoping that it would fix it, so I wanted to test that here today and just kind of revisit Hitman 2 with the DirectX 11 versus DX12 showdown on the latest patch. Today's video is brought to you by LevelGo.com, where you could pick up all of your favorite games coming out in the year 2019, as well as software like Windows 10 Pro for just $16, Microsoft Office 2016 for under 40, and Office 2019 Professional Plus for just $80. And if you head over there with the links down in the description below, you can get 12% off of Windows 10 with the code JKL12 at checkout, or 10% off the entire website with the code JKL10. Just hit up the links down in the description below for more info, and be sure to use those coupon codes. Hitman 2 actually now has two different benchmark scenes built into it that you can launch from the splash screen when you launch the game through Steam. So you've got the Miami benchmark as well as the Mumbai benchmark. I tested both of these scenes here, which you'll be seeing very soon uh, with the graphs and everything. I tested both scenes at 1440p as well as 4K, DX11 versus DX12. Other than that, all of the graphics settings remained exactly the same. Everything was maxed out as far as it would go, but I did turn motion blur off, and I also removed the memory safeguards inside of the graphics options, which is something you, dis you can disable. For my testing, I was just running on one system, one graphics card for this, just to really just isolate it and see DX11 versus DX12. So I was running on my i9-9900K, which is overclocked to 4.8 gigahertz, along with 32 gigabytes of GDR4 memory at 3200 megahertz. And I do have an overclocked RTX 2080 Ti Founders Edition running all of the benchmarks here that you'll be seeing in this video. So starting off with some 4K footage on the Miami benchmark, you'll see here that for the most part, the game is running better in DirectX 11. However, there are a few scenes that you'll go through where you'll see DirectX 12 pull ahead by a small margin. Sometimes it's a little bit larger than others, but it can really just vary between scene and scene to scene. But for the most part, it is running better at DirectX 11. However, we are seeing slightly better and more consistent frame times when it comes to DirectX 12. So we're seeing a lot fewer frame rate drops at 4K, and that is true even more so at 1440p. And at 4K, we're seeing the GPU usage relatively high in this game, pretty much over 90% usage all the time, which is being picked up a lot by the fact that it is running at 4K. So it's pretty much forcing the GPU usage higher on both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. Where you start to see the low GPU usage issue really kick in is when you drop down the resolution with anything really below that 1440p, you're going to see much less GPU usage and 1080p even less further. So at 1440p, we actually see in certain scenes, DirectX 12 gets a massive performance boost, like 20 to 30 FPS. But then in other scenes, it trails behind DirectX 11 by quite a bit, even though it regularly gets higher GPU usage. But again here, the frame times were actually much better when it came to DirectX 12 at 1440p, which you'll see here in the graph now. So at 1440p, you could see DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 in the Miami benchmark both averaged 111 FPS. So no change there, despite some scenes running better or worse with either, resol with either uh, API, I should say. But when it comes to the 1% low, which is an average of all the lowest 1% of frame times, you see that the average FPS for DX12 at 1440 is actually 66 FPS versus 44 on DX11. So running much better in terms of frame times, even though the average FPS is exactly the same. And in some scenes, you will see DX12 either run far behind DX11 or far ahead 
of DX11 and 4K. The numbers get a little bit closer here. As you can see, the 1% lows were 43 versus 45. And then the average FPS, DX11 actually ran better here at 79 versus 66. I also ran the other benchmark scene, which is the Mumbai benchmark. And we saw pretty consistent stuff with what we saw on the Miami benchmark, although here DirectX 12 was actually running a fair bit better in DirectX 12 consistently, although the frame times weren't as big of an issue here at 1440, but at direct, but at 4K, that was actually it's actually the opposite here on the Mumbai benchmark. I know this is confusing; it's kind of all over the place. I'm, this is leading somewhere, I promise. But taking a look at the graph here at 1440, you could see DX11 got an average of 101 versus 114 FPS, and if you remember on the Miami one, it was actually tied. And again, frame times here across every resolution and API is, is better in DX12, 68 versus 64 at 1440p. At 4K, we saw a much bigger gap here at 65 versus 45, so a 20 FPS jump there at 4K with the frame times. And then DX11 ran better in 4K at 80 FPS versus 68 on the DX12. So with these results so all over the place, really the only conclusion you can come to is that the engine for Hitman 2 is just a complete and utter mess. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. The one thing, the only real common factor we can take away from any of these benchmarks is that the frame times are better in DirectX 12. When it comes to FPS and average FPS, it can vary wildly from API to API and scene to scene and whatever mission to mission you happen to be playing in the game. And with the mission structure the way that it is, it's not really a consistent story. You can pretty much pick any mission you want in any order that you want at any time. As soon as you launch the game, you have all the missions unlocked and you pick whatever you want to do. That's just the way Hitman 2 works. So with that being the case, you know, if you're asking, say, okay, well, after all watching all this, which API do, you, do I use? Do I use DirectX 11 or do I use DirectX 12? To which my answer is yes. <laughs> the, the answer really is, is both. And it's going to vary depending on which mission you're playing, I would say, is going to be a big factor. So you may have to play with some trial and error. If you load into one mission like Miami, you might find that DirectX 12 is better, running better for you than DX11. And then on another mission like Mumbai, you'll find the opposite. So... I don't, I don't really know what to tell you. There is really no final conclusion here to take away from these results, except they're, they're wildly inconsistent. And DirectX 12 has better frame times, which might help with older or um, sort of like low to mid-tier hardware if you are seeing, you know, big frame rate drops, sub 60 FPS type stuff. That would probably be helped with DirectX 12. It would probably give you, um, you know, less frame drops in such a, such a significant way like we saw on DirectX 11. So... That would kind of be my advice for low to mid-range hardware, kind of play around with it, but I think you'll see more consistent frame, frame rates up around 60 FPS versus if you were using DX11 versus DX12. So in that case, I'd probably try DX12 and see what you get. Um, and then high-end hardware like a 2080 Ti can be a bit of a crapshoot, so take from that what you will. But I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please leave your thoughts, as always, down in the comments below as I look forward to continuing the discussion with you. If you've got any ideas or suggestions based on, you know, the numbers we saw here, you know, definitely offer your input. I would love to hear your feedback on the numbers we saw here as they're just so all over the place and crazy and don't really make any sense compared to the way other games are tested because this engine is just like, like I said, it's just a complete mess. And I don't know what they're doing because... Even though, like, you know, th th it is all over the place. The GPU usage is just terrible in 1440p and lower resolutions. The game still runs good. I mean, it doesn't seem like you'd really have a lot of issues running this game. Its graphic settings would seem to scale, lower end hardware and resolutions and things. So, I mean, you can get the game to run well. That's not really the issue here. It's just feels like it could be running a lot better if we didn't have that GPU usage issue problem. So, yeah. I'm going to get out of here, as I said. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, leave a thumbs up on it. Subscribe if you're not already. And ring the notification bell if you haven't already. That way you never miss a video as soon as it goes up on the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. Tara.